This is another Rhode Island at Brightwater under construction. I think it's been about uh, three or four weeks. This one's for client, Moorcraft Homes client uh, birds, the birds. It's got three double hung windows at the front. Twelve hundred wide translucent glass uh, timber stained front door. Very popular. Into the double garage. Looks like the plasters will be in this week. All the walls are sarked. The ceiling is sarked as well, plus it will also have um, battens, uh, the metal ceiling battens, these blue metal strips here. That stops the, like a lot of homes, the, the uh, ceiling can sag. That metal ceiling batten braces the ceiling. Um, it's one of the many features that Moorcraft homes have that other builders don't do. You also see here that uh, the craftsmanship in the Moorcraft homes, the walls are shaved because with studs you'll get a slight bowing sometimes. Well, uh, Moorcraft homes, we shave the, the walls to make sure we've got a very flat surface. Uh, this is a hardy brace. A lot of builders just use the timber, thin timber ply brace. We use the better bracing which achieves a an N3 wind rating which is 41 metres per second wind speed and some builders now aren't putting these cyclone rods in either it's part of the, the high wind bracing cat, wind, wind category that Warcraft homes do this is the cavity wall slider between the garage and the hallway so that uh, the door will go in, in the centre here This is the front bedroom. Uh, it's going to have an ensuite in here with a step up shower. There's the walk in robe, quite a big walk in robe in this one. Back down the hallway. This was a lot of custom design went into this house uh, to suit the client's needs. It's got three windows along the eastern wall and a nice big um, sliding glass door out under a large rear terrace. Got another Moorcraft home going on that vacant block there at the back there next to the park. kitchen, got a breakfast bar here, the nib wall, just to hide dishes and things like that, and have a dishwasher, sink, pantry, overhead cupboards are going to go in here, uh, it's also pre-wired for NBN, this is the second bedroom through here, the walk-in, uh, the built-in robe, And 15 by 15 by 18 or 15 by 15 sliding glass window. Um, <clears throat> there's a broom cupboard there. This is where the laundry's going. Nice sliding glass door, very popular, rather than having just a, a single door. This is a, like a TV room. So effectively, this, this house is uh, like a two living areas and four bedrooms. It's got a toilet there, main bathroom. All the stud frames are termite treated, as are the trusses. It's got a linen cupboard here. And this is the third bedroom. It's got a robe, built in robe window to the north of the rear yard. This is going to be used I think as a study. Um, this one here is used as a study I think. This is the fourth bedroom. Uh, this is uh, what is called a bulkhead. You see the bracing, it's got a laminated beam. That'll have a, that'll be plastered there to form a bulkhead. 
a built-in robe. And I'll do another video when uh, Jip rocks in and some of the cabinetry's in another cavity sliding door here. Section this area off. And back out through the, the garage. That's another Moorcraft home over there. Another Rhode, another Rhode Island, much smaller than this one. Another Rhode Island over there by Moorcraft Homes. Another Rhode Island there that's completed. It's a lovely home, that one's got a huge pavilion. Uh, the, the blocks going in at the moment they'll be uh, rendered with Rock Code Render which is an award winning Sunshine Coast uh, render company they're in the Hall of Fame for business on the Sunshine Coast for winning the award so many times and we've got another Warcraft home going in here overall we've got uh, over 25% of the homes going in this stage of um, Brightwater